Welcome to my YouTube channel, House Plan to the Drawing. I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to draw the gable roof. As you can see, how to draw it like this. Okay, how to make your roof look like this. Okay, the gable uh, roof. So I'm just going to delete this, this one, this one I made. So now, I'm just going to redraw my roof. So this is the roof and I'm just going to do a quick, I'm just going to change the, how it looks like. Then uh, I need to bring the roof down now. So I'm just going to use my elevation. I'm just going to the south elevation. Uh, select this and I'm just drag it down. Okay, I'll just drag it down to that point there. Top the concrete fissure. And the roof height is too, is way too, long so i'm just gonna make i always make mine to be like least 27 so it just looks normal for this type of uh, building just take this up okay so um now i want if i go to, let's go to my 3d now so now i want my gable roof at this point here one at this point here also two at this point here three and at this other side here four so to do that now i'm going to go to the first story so i should see how the how the roof how the roof is being drawn by akikad and as i did i want i want the the gable to be here this is one two three and four so i'm just going to go to my doc to documents click on line two and i'm just going to draw so I want the I want the the size of the gable roof. That is the height. I don't mind to just be sometimes I use one thousand or six hundred. It just depends on the kind of design you want to you want to give it. Or you can use you can use maybe eight hundred. Okay. Then I'm just going to drag the line here also. Click on this line. Select the suspend groups. Select this line, drag it outside like this to meet the other side. Okay, then what you want to do next now is select on the roof, right click, and select split into single plane rows. When that once once you've selected it, it's going to pop out this top. Then just right, just click on split anyway. And um, what you want to do next now is select on this side of the roof. Okay, select on this side and I'm going to select this point here. I make sure this node is selected, insert the node selected, and drag it to this point here. Do the same thing for this other side too. So. And select once you've selected this, selected this side, click this middle side here and drag it down. And select on this one also. Do the same thing also. Okay, select on this one also and drag it down. Once that is done, if you go to your 3D, as you can see, it brings it brings out the shape we want. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of the three uh, gable roof. So I'm just going to Ctrl D. I'm going to select on that point there and drag it to this side here. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to do what I did. i 
So once that is done, if I'll go back to my 3D to see how it looks like. As you can see, it gives me the perfect shape I want, the gable roof I want. So um, now the next thing is I want to put in the louver. Okay? So to put in the louver, I'm going to go back to the to the story. That's it. I'm going to go back to the, to the roof plan. Let's drag this out there. And I'm going to go back to design. Scroll down and look for object. So double tap, double click on this and search for louver l-o-u-v-e-r so as you see the one there are series of louver here the designs you want any kind of design you want you can make it you can just design those the way you want but i select this vertical gable louver i want to select on and click ok i want to select on this point here and the next now to do is select on this uh louver and I'm going to drag it to the middle side and I'm going to press M on my keyboard so I can measure the length of this which is 1.6 I'll click on the louver and change the length to be 1.6 this is the length here which is 1.6 click and uh, just leave it just gonna well you can click enter because it's gonna be slow so click on this move it to the middle point okay as you can see it's accurate then I want to drag this to a little bit just just so uh, just make sure you don't drag it outside like this just drag it inside because the louver is always inside so just drag it like that okay and just select on this ctrl shift d I'm, not gonna, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here okay I'll paste it here I'll rotate this And I'm going to move this outside a little bit, okay? But well, don't, don't make sure, don't, don't make sure it doesn't pass this line because that's a roof line. And I'm going to do the same thing for this other one here. Okay, so we have this now, okay? And I'm going to go back to my 3D. But as you can see, I'm not seeing it, so I have to go inside the roof, inside the building and this is this is one two three and four okay so i'm just going to i'm going to click on this louver here click on the louver here click on this node here and click on this drag and drag make sure you follow this line akia is going to give this a straight line just make sure you follow this line here and just click it just put that side there okay that side is just perfect and uh, do the same. Those do the same thing for the uh, for the louvers. That is it. And I'm just gonna go outside of the roof. As you can see, I have this now. Okay. And what is next now is I want to cut louvers to be in the shape of the gable. Okay. So I'm just going to. I'm going to untick my suspend groups, click on the roof, hold and shift and click on the louvers, on the four louvers. And click on the four louvers. So when that is done, right click and select crop to single plane roof and crop element top because I want the, the upper side of the louver to be cut off. So I'm just going to click on crop automatically it crops it out just the way we want it to be okay now we have we have this let me just zoom in so you can see what i'm doing as you can see we have this if you go to this other side now we have this too and you might want to change the color of the louvers you might want to change the color of the louvers you might want to give them um maybe glossy white or titanium white So I'm just going to go to the settings dialog of the Lover. Click on model and select this. Click on general and select titanium white. Click on OK. And it should be white. As you can see now, it's white. Okay. So automatically, this what you created now already has already created the shape in your on all, in all of your elevations. If you go to your elevation now, it's just gonna be there. 
as you can see, it's just going to be there as you can see it. So, um, in your elevation, I want to create, um, just create the kind of design to make it look in it. So, I'm not going to select a line to here. I'm just going to sketch something out real quick. Uh, I'm going to move this and there's a reason why I'm not actually making the line from this side I'm actually making the line inside There's a reason why because I don't want the I don't want it to show outside that is why that's just the reason why I'm doing that well you can make yours to just be you know your own idea you're the architect you can design those the way you want to design it so I'm just going to move this out now click on move hold on space bar click on that edge okay then I'm just going to look for where it is located which is this is it and I'm just going to give it a kind of a morph of um, click on the tube here and give it a kind of morph of let me say 50 just 50 just 50 not something too much and I'm going to go to the story and look for it here this is it here Control D and move it uh, move it to the side here move it to the side here okay and Go to 3D and I should have something like this. But as you can see, it's kind of glitching. If you look at this very well, it's glitching, which I don't actually want. And as you can see, this side is actually showing, which I don't which I don't want, because that's what I told you guys earlier on. So I'm going to go to the south elevation and I'll try and adjust what I did. I'll click on this here, click on the morph here, control D. And drag it to the line I created, which was this. Okay, so I have this now. Okay, and I'll go back to the 3D and I should have it, it should be just accurate, just where I want it to be. Okay, but now as you can see, the outer side is glitching also. So I'm going to click on the I'm going to click on it. But what I do is I'll just go to the story, the one that is just the easiest part. Just click on this and control D. Just drag it outside a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, just, just drag it outside a little bit and go back to your 3D. So you should have something neat like this. As you can see, you should have something neat like this. So, um, for the next of my drawing, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to select on the, on the, Morph to and I'm just going to select this point here and select on this other side too. Then I'm going to rotate it. Oh, Ctrl D. Just going to. But it didn't give me what I want to. So let me just check this out. Okay, I have this and I should go to my south elevation, uh, to my west elevation now and I want to try and place it to be just accurate, just where I want it to be, Control D and just bring it down here yeah? and Control D and move it to this side here. Yeah? okay now that is it go back then go back to your 3d and i'm going to try and move this out just a little bit the way i said earlier on uh, i'm just going to move it out a little bit Control d go back to your 3d and i should have something like this as neat as this and you should do the same thing for the rest but to make my work much more easier i just copy it in 3d i'll just copy the morph in 3d that is ctrl shift d and i select this point here okay and because the height of the building is just going to be changing so i'm just going to select this point here 
as you can see it's just it's just so easy if you can if you can copy in 3d and for this other one now i'm just going to select this i'm going to copy this and go to the other side there which is this place and select that point but now you want to you want to actually reduce it you want to reduce the size uh it's too it's way too outside so i'm just going to move it inside a little bit and go back to my 3d and i should have something like this okay so this is how to create a gable roof in archicad thank you for watching my video if my video has been of any help to you kindly subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my other tutorial videos thank you